The FDA has approved its first treatment for alopecia, an autoimmune disorder that causes people to lose their hair, sometimes permanently. The drug, known as Illumiant, blocks an enzyme that leads to inflammation that then causes hair to fall out. And that's not the only good news. Here in Massachusetts, a new pill is being created that could be another hope for many people suffering from alopecia. WBZ's Kate Merrill explains. Thanks to a certain Academy oh, wow. Award slap, alopecia areata has people's attention. Actress Jada Pinkett Smith suffers from it, as does Massachusetts Congresswoman Ayanna Presley. I'm ready now because I want to be freed from the secret and the shame that that secret carries with it. Presley went public with her battle two years ago, and now Lexington-based Concert Pharmaceuticals and its CEO Roger Tung say a new pill could bring relief. Have what we believe could be the best-in-class agent for the treatment of alopecia areata. Unlike male pattern baldness, which is based on hormones, alopecia areata is an autoimmune disease that attacks hair follicles and could be brought on by severe stress. Concert's treatment prevents T cells from going after the follicles. Results from Concert's advanced clinical trials are very encouraging. The fact that we can get 41.5% to nearly have all the hair back on their head is huge. Dr. Marianne Macrita Senna says patients often suffer physically and mentally. Those patients carry a significant psychosocial burden. They're perceived as being sick, treated as being sick. Concert's pill could change all of that. The results are amazing, um, and I call it the smile factor. When people come in and they don't have their hair and they just don't feel like there's any hope or treatments, and when they come back and they have their hair, you know, they say, I have my life back, I feel like I have myself back, and they're smiling. The results from the trial were only from the first 24 weeks, and Concert is hopeful benefits of the pill will be even better over a longer period of time. The drug could be submitted for FDA approval by next year. Kate Merrill, WBZ News. Hmm. That smile factor is real. Absolutely. I remember clearly doing a story almost 30 years ago about this new pill called Propecia that obviously has helped a lot of people. Life-changing. So, uh, it's fantastic to hear about this.